hey 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 we're back we're back we're back from vacation as I said we were going to Costco in a previous video uh, make sure to check out that video that's talking about vacation blues post vacation blues post vacation depression whatever you want to call it it's a real thing because I sure have experienced it and so that's why I'm acting like I'm still at the beach I have my coral uh, necklace my coral earrings and my beach t-shirt and my beach shorts and I'm gonna just act like I ain't home yet <laughs> so anyway one of the things we talked about is to make sure that you get back to your routine make sure that you pack up uh, you unpack but also groceries groceries y'all every Sunday maybe you're like me or Saturday you make sure you go to the farmers market get some groceries I didn't want to do two stops today so I am headed to Costco because I loves me some Costco yes I sure do I loves me some Costco and I'm sitting out here in the parking lot uh, mr. Jordan is asleep back there I'm giving him a maybe five minutes five minutes um, he's already been asleep for about 15 minutes five more minutes maybe five five more minutes uh, for him to get a nap and then we're gonna get out uh, get out the car and do this Costco haul my first Costco haul I don't know how these moms do it out here on YouTube I just watch the videos and I follow along but I'm like how they do it do they have a stand on the cart do they have someone holding the phone do they do it on a smartphone do they do it on a Canon if you're a mom that's already doing these types of videos please let me know y'all because you know I'm new I'm new to this I'm a YouTube newbie however uh, the first priority in terms of the Hope Hub uh, channel is we are all about giving hope um, to people who are seeking hope so we welcome you especially if you're someone who is who is seeking hope because I was one of those people who was seeking hope desperately in a time of depression and I have learned to find my happy and along with finding my happy I give of myself through myself and through others hope on a daily basis and so that's where all these hope lifeline videos that you see that I upload from Facebook on a daily basis come from it's me on Facebook on the platform hope hub where I just give hope on a daily basis these other vlogs are more lifestyle type things in terms of just you know how do I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis just some insight on how I live my life I am a very very down-to-earth person I ain't trying to pretend or be someone that I ain't I is just me so case in point you see these glasses right here look at that I know right I don't think I'm the only one right that does that it's a hack ain't it is it a hack or is it just not right I don't know but that's what I do because I have to drive and I got to see and I can't wear these shades and not wear my glasses and see and sometimes I don't you know for the last year or so year and a half I really haven't worn my contacts I do have some contacts but I don't feel like it so this is my lazy hack in terms of looking cute while I drive but if someone looks real close they'll be like what on earth does she have on her eyes so those are my sunglasses I put them on top of my regular spectacles however um, I do plan in the new near future to go to Zeneca and get me some new sexy um, eyeglasses eyewear and I believe on their site I saw the type that have the little um, sun glass sun shade whatever you want to call it that flips over over on your uh, regular uh, eyeglasses and um, you can use them as sunglasses and they also um, have the tinted ones and and all of that and it's not expensive so I'm looking forward to using Zeneca um, the only thing with Zeneca is you do have to know your pupillary distance pupillary distance and have your script from your um, optician and make sure you have all those details before you go on there and make that order so otherwise we are at Costco I think his time's up yes I was here for a good old four minutes and y'all be kind on my videos because I don't know this whole editing thing or recording thing at Costco I don't know how people are gonna be looking at me if I'm gonna have to whisper but give me your tips and tricks y'all peace almost forgot one more thing our budget is about maybe hundred and fifty dollars because we're getting okay 
So we just got to Costco. First thing we see is a lead desk light. It's amazing, amazing. Wow. It's a lead light and a fan in one. Ultra bright, brilliant light. $29.99. And then some sensible echo living trash cans for $15.99. And I think there's two in this right here. Look at that. And it opens and closes. Awesome. But we didn't come for that. Alright, what? Let's go. You're so bored. So this is a motion sensor echo living trash can. We've had a trash can that we wanted to get rid of for a while. This is $29.99. And it's about Jordan's height. Well, a little bit less. I don't know, maybe we do need more than 47L, whatever that stands for, 12.4 gallons. I don't know, but we may come back for this. What do you think, Jordan? Should we get rid of the trash can in the kitchen and get this one instead? I think so. The one in the kitchen doesn't have a cover. Hmm, something to think about. Impulse buying, huh, at its best. That's what they do in Costco. So we're gonna get some red grapes. Thinking of the blueberries though, for shakes in the morning. Decided to go with the black midnight beauties. Gala apples, awesome! These are my favorite, they're so crunchy. Alright, Red Isle. So, I think you guys should start eating this one. 21 whole grain Dave's bread. Whoa! What do you think? It looks like a 25 year old bread. Um, okay, so I don't know. I saw someone say something about it, right? That's my recommendation. I don't know. This, okay, what about this one that's gluten free? Udi's. We have some gluten free bread. I don't know. All right, usually we buy honey nut, not honey nut, honey wheat. Pretty basic. Old time honey wheat. That's what my kids like, so maybe I shouldn't waste any more money. Or maybe you and your dad could try that one for now. But truly, truly, my favorite bread is. Let me show it to you. Um, not here. <laughs> I was looking for the raisin bread. Spicy wafers. Like spicy wafers, yeah. So this is the section you don't want to be at. Those are ginger snaps, Mommy, lemon blueberry cake, pretzel bites, banana nut bread, which looks like heaven. Yes, Jordan. Um, I just, just Let me see them. Let me see them. Let me see. You want to try them? Let, take them out. Let me see them. Did they allow this? Because if it's too big, yeah. If it's too big, who's going to eat all those ginger snaps? Uh, yeah. Belgian waffles. Mommy, wow. it's too big. Yeah. I know they look like it. <laughs> Probably not good for my, my belly. <laughs> This is Temptation Island. <laughs> I didn't say open them. I said take them so we can put them in the cart so we can buy them. Ginger. You want to just try them? Ginger snaps. So I think this is the same as the ones we buy in the regular store, but they are um, freshly baked. He made me do it. He took the spicy wafer. 
so we just came from the veggie section so far we got Mediterranean chopped salad kit some kale yay kale some tomatoes yeah uh, organic tomatoes some mushrooms you already saw the apples some romaine hearts and organic baby spinach some little little potatoes green beans and some regular tomatoes which these I would usually get at the farmers market cheaper but I don't really have time for that all right all right moving on this is the other temptation area lattice, lattice apple. apple pie there is what is this apple, apple field danishes okay these are cream field danishes i believe these are muffins uh we have pound cake oh my god i don't know if you want if you're gonna make it out of here in one piece without buying stuff that you don't want to buy right muffins corn muffins there is blueberry muffins ew, ew. and true i hear you cheesecake muffins chocolate muffins i bet double 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 chocolate muffins needless to say we ain't getting them <laughs> but let me tell you that the hardest part is the bake sec section the bread all right so we are here now for the meats and this is ground beef that we're not getting <laughs> i think we need the other little sachets because that's too much in one pack and i would have to go and separate it but um their meat here is not cheap let me just put it that way it ain't cheap but it is good um what did you say about apple pie okay so let's see maybe we will get um short ribs yum i think we're gonna get some short ribs some beef round top we're in the chicken area and we are definitely getting some chicken tenderloins because the kids don't like the bone-in chicken that much so when I cook chicken I make them um, some I have some pieces of the chicken tenderloin and then I have some pieces of the chicken legs and thighs Ta -da! we found the beef yeah I don't like the turkey. I know it's healthier, but I don't like it. Thank you, Jordan. Set it into the dairy. Freezing. I don't think we need eggs. Maybe I'll get egg whites. I'm not sure. I'm gonna get the milk. Do. Now in the um, paper goods aisle, paper towel. I think we have paper towel to last us a week, so we're not gonna get any, but we are getting back tissue. And not yet. You don't have school for another um, three weeks, maybe. Three weeks. Yeah, and then we're gonna get another. Um, Deer Park we get the big one for when we go out uh, exercise and run and these are for the kiddos so they don't waste the water when the frozen meats freezer meats Bubba burger that's for Joel uh, Jonathan he loves burgers if you all have any recommendations for better burgers let me know someone says someone told me they have some really amazing burgers at Aldi's um, Kirk, Kirk, Kirkland's has some burgers as well. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of burgers, so. But he is. But these, I get these because they're gluten free. 
Mommy. Even though I should just get him gluten-free everything, but maybe that's my one thing. We have the um, we have fries at home. Um, yeah, we have um, organic. Let me show you which ones we have. Oh well, I don't see them. All right, this is shrimp. I love me some shrimp, so I have to get me some Kirkland no. Signature Shrimp. Cooked, We're not getting them. Cooked shrimp. <laughs> We're not getting them. Why not? Or maybe we could get the cooked shrimp. No. Um, two pounds. Tail off. Or those. And I'm the only one who eats them, so they last a good while. Wait. Tell me, you're eating what? Sebastio's pizza. Sebastio's pizza. What kind? Is it good? Yep. All right. Okay, we are in the tuna aisle. Pink salmon, boneless and skinless. I'm thinking I can put this in salads. Maybe a sandwich, maybe not. Maybe a lettuce salad. Um... Did you see any tuna that you liked? Um, I did but I can see Japanese stuff. Um, chicken, I don't know. I don't like doing too much canned goods, but this is a canned goods section. Hmm, I always stop at the mac and cheese. And I consider, and I consider, and I say nah. Um, usually this is like more emergency food for the kids when they need something really quick and easy so um, I may get some but I'm not sure if there's some in the house See, that's what I didn't do was do a pantry um, look-see before I came out but um, I think I'm a pass this section I love of Costco where they have the the um, Madras lentils, they're really, really good, especially if you add more cayenne to them and other spices of your own making. And then also the brown and red rice with chia and kale. Um, I have these at home, so I'm not buying any, but I just thought I may show you guys that these are really great. The test Tasty Bite Organic um, brand is amazing. All right. This is why I come to Costco. This is why super extra large peanuts. <laughs> I'm gonna hide it on the camera because, I'm, because mommy does not like peanuts. How can he say that? <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so I think we showed you everything that we got at Costco. Turkey bacon was um, one more addition. Eggos, we didn't show you. The shrimp. Um, but aside from that, we showed you every, every blessed thing that we have in our cart. I hope you have a terrific Sunday. God bless you. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying along with us on this Costco haul. This was our first one. It wasn't easy. A lot of people watching and wondering what you're doing while you're videoing produce and talking uh, along the aisles to yourself when really you're talking to a video camera. Um, so just thank you for doing this. Um, as we continue to do this, we will continue to learn. Uh, let us know what other things are of interest to you that will um, add value in your life in terms of just being a mom or a family. We're a family of five. We have a lot going on. Um, our trunk right now is pretty packed. We spent uh, way more money than we thought we would. So you can see that. That's a lot of food, y'all. Um, thank God we had taken the suitcases out um, from our vacation. Um, this is Jordan. He was a trooper. You did good, man. He truly, truly did well. He did not buy or ask for a lot of things that were not um, on budget. The only thing you got was what? The ginger snaps that we hadn't budgeted for. Uh, let me close the door, Jordan. Um, that was the only real thing that I was kind of not too happy about because of all the sugar. 
but well it's one treat and he was the one kid that really wanted to go to uh, Costco and decided to be my little helper for the day so otherwise I hope you enjoyed our Costco haul we will not be taking this stuff out and showing the items one by one and how much they cost just wanted to show you a snapshot of the type of food we eat the things that we are uh, pretty much our staples in our house I may have added a couple of things that were not supposed to be there like the shrimp uh, what else did I add the salmon the tin, the tin salmon but it's because I'm trying to eat lean and trying to add more meats into my um, into my diet and also add some nutritional value into my diet otherwise take care subscribe like comment follow whatever y'all do on these YouTube take care bye like the whole pub follow the whole pub peace